<laughs> Kayla knows what she's getting herself into by hanging with me. But here we are live in this Sprinkle Divas group. Um, Y'all know me, but I'll let me do a quick little introduction. So I'm Melina Dixon. I'm an independent consultant and a senior manager with this wonderful company called Pink Zebra. And I've been a consultant now for over five years, um, which is crazy because um, time flies when you're having fun. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about me in just a little bit. But I'm so excited to be hanging out with Kayla. And let's see if I point the I did. I pointed the right way. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kayla. And um, I don't know if she was going to talk about this when she talks about herself. But she and I met just a couple months ago in Houston, Texas, uh, when we were there for um, the Be the Change event. I don't even know what to call it. Um, it was kind of life changing. The Be the Change event change your life, hashtag live an awesome life event. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, so we just met there and um, she said, I'm her spirit animal, <laughs> <laughs> which made me really excited. Um, so then of course, naturally I was like, well, we have to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, tonight we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about just um, cause we have different, um, different lives and we'll share a little bit about how we're working our business and and hopefully that'll be helpful to you guys so i will let kayla introduce herself and all that jazz hi guys i'm kayla and like melina said we met at the leadership event in houston a couple months ago and melina did a training on social media is my jam and just some things she said, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm totally going to be friends with this girl. <laughs> but I am a mom. I'm a wife. My husband just graduated police academy and I have two kids. I have a six-year-old and a 16-month-old. Um, I stay at home with them. Um, right now we live with my mom. My mom lives with us, whatever you want to call it, because my dad passed away about two years ago. So we kind of moved in with her to help her get readjusted. And so... We moved into this little tiny town of Alba, Texas, and there's like 500 people here population. So I'm like out in the middle of nowhere. And so when I got pregnant, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to be able to do this pink zebra thing and have a baby. And that was not true because when I had her, I had to totally like reorganize my whole life because she didn't just sleep all the time. She didn't just do whatever all the time. So definitely excited to share with y'all sort of how I keep myself organized with all the plates that I juggle at the same time. And I've been doing Pink Zebra since November 1st of 2014, and I'm a senior manager now. <laughs> so I'm excited to <laughs> both do that at the same time. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. We're friends. I love it. <laughs> So I'm excited to share with y'all and kind of venture out of my own team page. This is the first time I've actually done a training with a different team. So be nice to me. <laughs> well, yeah, they will totally be nice. I have, like, <laughs> I have some of the nicest um, people on my team. It's wonderful. I got really lucky. Um, Cause yeah, no jerks, no jerks at all. <laughs> okay. So, so what I didn't, um, what did, what did I not? Oh, what I didn't know is how small your town was. So that's another, um, <laughs> I just, <laughs> there's a comment from, uh, one of my managers, Tiffany. She said, I'm here, Melina. Don't private message me. <laughs> I, I, know, I was like, we're live. <laughs> Cause we were, we were chatting right before this started and I wanted to make sure she knew, like, hey, I'm here. That's why I'm not replying to your comments. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I didn't realize how small your town was. And while I technically live in a smaller town, I'm just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, which is a huge city. So that's just another thing that's different about us. So that was kind of. Yeah, I have to drive an hour in either direction to get to a somewhat bigger town. Like there's a Walmart that's like 20 minutes from me, but it's like a super center, but it's like the smallest 
super center ever. Wow. So, yeah. So we have a lot of differences, which inspired this training um, because, you know, I work 40 hours a week outside my house. You work a million hours a week at your house. Um, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm no idiot. I understand. Well, I don't understand how hard it is to be a parent and be with your children all the time, but I know you work a, like there's only 24 hours in a day, but you somehow work more than 24 hours in a day. I do know that. Um, so yeah, it's just really cool. Just getting, um, different perspectives from people. So, um, so because I do work outside my home, um, I think, I probably, I come into more contact with people yeah. than you do. So you're, um, you're doing a lot of your business online. I mean, I do a ton of it online because social media is my jam, but I have an opportunity to talk face to face to, you know, my coworkers or, you know, the, the people that make my sandwich at the sandwich shop. And, um, so yeah, we just, we just have to figure out based on, you know, our lives how to still make our business work. So um, do you want to jump in and kind of talk about what your, you know, your schedule, if you have one, what it looks like? Yeah. So it is a little different, like you said, because you work 40 hours. So like when you go to work, like you work eight to five, this is what you do at work. Whereas I don't actually go anywhere. I'm at home. So I have to figure out how to stop and make time. This is the time that I need to do something or this is the time I need to do this. So it's like, it's super hard because everyone's like, oh, you can work at home and just do whatever you want all the time. And that's true. But at the same time, if I don't stick to a schedule, then it's just like chaos all the time. So um, something that we talked about at leadership event and that I had kind of been um, researching through like direct sales articles were theme days. So I have two things. I have my work over here. And then I have my personal over here. So each day is different. Can like, you share, can you share that with us? That looks amazing. I, all I see is a worksheet and stickers and I'm like, yes, I need that. <laughs> so like, um, Monday is like for work is mail Monday. So granted there's going to be other days during the week where I'm going to mail every other things out or something's going to come up, but I try to set it aside majorly for one day. One, because like I said, I live out in the middle of nowhere. And so my post office lady hates to get out of the car and come up to my porch. So I try to have everything out one day a week so that she's, it's outside by the mailbox, whatever. And just to kind of like, so again, so I don't get off track. If I don't have like a set day and I'm just like mailing whenever I get a chance, then I'm too busy doing that day to mail to do other things. So Tuesdays for work are team Tuesday and granted I take care of my team every day but Tuesday is when I really try to focus on my team that's when we do team training that's when I go over reports go through maps do incentives things like that things that focus on my team is what I try to focus on for Tuesday so Wednesday is work at Wednesday and that's kind of when I focus on my personal business like what parties I have going talking to my hostesses you know setting up host packets anything like that for my personal business will be on work at Wednesday and then Thursday would be social media Thursday, which is like planning things into since share or scheduling posts through Facebook, making new graphics, things like that. Anything that deals with social media, try to set it aside again. Like, yeah, there's going to be other days where like if they post a special or something, then I'm probably going to make a graphic that day and share it. But trying to keep most of my scheduling for since sharing stuff to Thursday really helps keep me organized. And then Friday, um, if I have an event or a party coming up that weekend, Friday, I just kind of set everything up to do event prep or it's free Friday where I just kind of do like whatever, or I just, you know, finish up whatever's, you know, else that week. So I don't do anything on the weekends. I try to, unless I have like an event or something, I try to do that strictly for family. So like for personal days, Monday is kind of when I look at look paying my bills, looking at tasks that I need to complete that week. You know, does my kid have a homework assignment that needs to be turned in? Is there a field trip coming up? That's kind of like my plan. What's going on in personal life day. Tuesday, I focus on strictly pretty much laundry or like any other little chores that need done around the house, things like that. 
you know, anybody that has kids know there's a lot of laundry. <laughs> so laundry. And, and I don't have kids. There's just <laughs> us and we have a ton of laundry. <laughs> and so Wednesdays, because I live out in the middle of nowhere, I do have to drive. So Wednesday is my shopping day, whether it's going to the grocery store, if I need to go pick up an outfit or something, whatever, that's like Wednesday because I cannot I don't have anywhere nearby that I can just run it. Well, I do. We have a dollar general. So if I need milk or something, but if I need like cilantro or something, I'm going to have to drive 30 minutes to go get it. So try to plan that out for Wednesday. And then Thursday is the day that our trash comes. So I usually just get all the trash out on Thursday. If there's like check the bathrooms, if they need toilet paper. So that's like my, just kind of like check little things around the house day. And then Friday is when I set aside time to go through my planner. So I should have totally pulled this out. I have the um, passion planner. So it's pretty big. I didn't really realize what it meant when it said compact or full size. So definitely should have paid attention to that. But like next week is spring break. So I've started going through there and trying to figure out spring break. You know, I'll try to like start planning out the next week you know, in my planner or the month or whatever, just making sure I'm not missing anything. You know, Friday's usually my planner day, so, or free Friday, you know, if there's something going on at the school or whatever. So that's just kind of like, the theme days thing really has helped me a lot because it helps me kind of remember that there's really one main thing I need to focus on that day. Yeah, there's gonna be other things that come up, you know, I might have Team Tuesday, but I might wake up Tuesday and my daughter's puking everywhere and I've got to take her to the doctor, so, you know, I have to just kind of adjust to where I need to, but knowing that this is like what I'm trying to get done today really keeps me somewhat on track. You know, life is going to happen, but having some sort of focus really helps. So definitely. Well, my schedule is not as awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I, so right now, like in a perfect world, I would follow like, the theme days. And I think I will when I don't have a full-time job to go to, but I am pretty much, um, if I'm doing like customer follow-up, it's, it's not necessarily going to be like Monday. So I, I have this awesome document that I need to update for my team. Um, and I actually learned it or found it through um, some leaders with Sensi, and they have a training in their back office called Scalable Systems. And basically, it's supposed to grow with you as your customer base grows, as your team grows, and it's it's really awesome. Um, and Monday is your customer day. But I talk to customers every single day, like you were kind of saying. I mean, you don't you don't know, um, but I do try when I. Here's I'm- your dog. Yeah, there's Alpine <laughs> scratching herself. <laughs> they can't see her on on the screen, but you, oh. can, you can see her because you get the magical like behind the scenes um, view. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Monday is is customer day. I do when I'm um, scheduling or doing reminders for my customer follow up in Evernote. I do try to pick. A Monday date. Have have you seen this before? Have we talked about this yet? Um, Evernote. I saw that you posted it in our leader group, so I haven't actually had a chance to, because I was like, I totally need to do this. I just had someone come in my team and train on a method for customer follow up that she does. It's like a box, and okay. she has like a customer card, and she has like months and weeks in the months, and she'll move them as she's going, but. You said it was on your phone and it was an app. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to try that. Yeah. So, so, I mean, I have no lie, like a stack over here, stack of order forms. Um, because obviously when I go to parties or sometimes even when I'm doing Facebook parties here or when I have an open house, I write out order forms because that's good. You know, you got to keep those records. But I don't want to have to like – do some kind of crazy like filing system. So I've been using Evernote now for I think almost two years. Um, and it's electronic. So even if someone, you know, buys at my home party, um, I'll just scan a picture of their, their order form and put it in the app. So, so yeah, I, I, you know, 
again, don't have the most fabulous schedule worked out right now. I feel like I'm, I'm talking to customers, you know, not every day, but there's no rhyme or reason to when I'm talking to people. Same thing for, for hostesses. Um, and I think that's because I'm trying to fit my, my business time, like where I can fit it. And mm-hmm. I'm sure some of the, the girls, um, on my team and even on your team will probably, probably understand that a little bit. Like I ride a bus into uptown for work most days. So, you know, I might be doing a Facebook post on my team page while I'm on the bus. I might be listening to a training. So I'm really trying to just um, fit things in when I can. Um, You know, I will take breaks at work at work to go to the post office. Um, Wednesday is supposed to be my post office day, according to my theme days. And I go to the post office uh, way too many times a week. So um, that is, that's something I'm definitely trying to work on. Organization is one of my words for the year. Um, And I've been like watching TV tonight and in between, like when commercials are on, I've been in my office trying to do things and holy moly, it looks so much better. Like I need to make a video. I know that's not the purpose of this training to talk about my office. Um, But yeah, I think the biggest thing is I'm just trying to fit things in where I can fit them in. Um, typically Tuesdays and Thursday nights would be reserved for Facebook parties. Um, Friday, if I do anything, it's just going to be, you know, catch up day, tie up loose ends. Um, I do post every Monday on my team group. Um, today I went live because my husband drove me to work. We had some bye alpine. We had um, some quality time this morning. So I was like, hey, I'm going to go live real quick. And my normal Monday post where I'm asking, you know, what three things are you working on to move your business forward this week? I did it in video form. Um, but typically I'll, you know, just post. I have a, an image. I do try to schedule that when I can because just scheduling it just like kind of frees up up your mind. Um, but yeah, so in the best way possible, I'm a total hot mess. And I, th- and, um, <laughs> and I want that to be comforting to people though, because I think sometimes people think like, wow, she's got it all together. No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't have it all together. There's nothing perfect about what happens over here. Um, you know, so, I rely- yeah, like normally, Mine isn't like that organized either. Like I have that schedule, but um, when I got back from leadership, I kind of realized that my baby needs to go somewhere like at least once or twice a week because she's climbing now. She's into everything. She's not like my son was. He could just sit in a corner and play like for hours. And she is not like that. Like she needs constant supervision. (laughs) And so I found somewhere for her to go. And then the last two and a half weeks, she's been like, super, super sick. So I haven't been able to send her anywhere. And so I'm playing a huge game of catch up right now because I haven't been able to send her. I haven't had those two designated days a week where I can really like focus and not have distraction because even though I'm at home, if she's over here playing and she makes a noise, then I have to stop what I'm doing and go see what she's doing. And so it's like, it can be really, it can feel really unorganized at times on my side too. Okay. I'm not the only I mean, I'm a hot mess. I don't think you are. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, um, you know, I think the great thing about having my customer follow up on my phone means I can do it anywhere. Um, you know, when I first started Pink Zebra and I'm doing taxes, they ask like, what percentage of your phone is used for business? I don't know if, um, y'all's accountant asks you, um, um, that kind of stuff. But I used to say 50% and now I say 75%. I, yeah. I, I'm talking, I mean, cause as, as my team has grown and as our, as my customer base has grown, um, I'm constantly doing something on this phone related to business. So, um, thank goodness I have that with me. So if, you know, while I'm on the bus or on my lunch break, I can, I can do things 
for my business because it's hard. And maybe, um, I mean, you can probably relate to this as well when, you know, when it's like five, six o'clock, you're getting ready to do dinner. And then the rest of the evening, like the last thing you want to do is like sit down at your computer and work. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, there are some nights where I do spend a good amount of time in here because I'm working on samples or, um, you know, there's a training going on and I'm, I'm watching or whatever, but, you know, after dinner, I just want to chillax. I don't know if people say that word or not, but, you know, so the more I can get done during the day, the better, honestly. And for me, like one of the reasons why I wanted to work from home and wanted to do Pink Zebra was because I wanted to be when I first um, I had my son and I was a single mom. And so my corporate job used to come home with me. And so like there was no never working like it seemed like I was working all the time. And so my goal was I want to find a job where I can work from home and be with him. I want to get him off the bus. I want to make him a snack when he gets home. Like I want to do that one on one with him in the evening. So when I got pink zebra and when I got married, you know, that was kind of my ultimate goal. So now that I can do that, you know, when he gets when the bus gets here, 405 every day, I want to be done for a few hours. Like, you know, there might be things that come up in the evening, especially like training on Tuesdays. But from that time, making dinner, having time with him until he gets in bed about 730, 8 o'clock. And my daughter goes to bed about 637, 730 kind of just depends. I want to be able to focus on them for that yeah. time. So that's really, you know, I want to do the Evernote, but for me, the biggest lifesaver is, and I'm sure you've probably talked about it, but since share and like, that's like my biggest thing. Like I'll go on there and I'll post a whole week's worth of scheduled posts for my VIP group. That's just one thing I don't have to do. Cause I try to have at least one post a day in my VIP group, you know, or on my business page or whatever. I love since share because it's like, that just takes out a lot. Just not having to worry about Oh, I got to stop what I'm doing and get on Facebook real quick and, you know, talk to somebody or whatever. So it is, I mean, having, figuring out what you're going to post and then remembering to do it every day is, is crazy. We did get a question. Um, Do your hostesses generally have good parties if you don't coach them? And I say no. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And, and the thing that I've, um, said to my team and if you love it you can totally take it and tell it to your team too that um the consultant us we are the party train conductor the host does not know how to get to party town that's why we're the ones driving the train and we don't um help them we don't guide them then the party's just it's not going to be successful I think, um, and, and host coaching is one of those things that it, it, it feels a little like scary at first because you're not trying to be bossy. Yeah. Um, but I've learned you can't assume that just because someone hosts a lot of parties that they know how to be a good host. Yeah. Cause so. you never know what kind of like, so I've had so many, I've done party swaps with other people before and I'm amazed at how much people don't do. Yeah. Like they're they're just like, just add people. And even then it's like, I kind of get nervous too. Cause a lot of times people's parties kind of feel unorganized. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like post after post after post. And they're called, I guess um, one of my teammates calls them dry posting. Like they don't say anything. They just post a picture of a product. They don't say anything about it. And they just like, it's got the price on it and that's it. And I'm just like, okay. (laughs) You know? So it's just kind of like, if you don't, I like to give a hostess her catalog because I like her to kind of see the products. But one of the one things I always try to make sure I get in my hostess's hand, whether or not, because I just had a girl message me tonight and she wants to start a party tomorrow. So there's no way I can get her a hostess packet, you know? So I email this little, can you see it? Oh, the tic-tac-toe thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have that in our like a coaching tool in itself. You know, it's talking to them about posting on social media, message Mm -hmm. the guests about their party, you know, collect five outside orders, you know, just little things like that that kind of help them coach themselves in a way. And if you tell them, oh, if you do this, this is what you're going to get. Then they're like, "Okay, I'm totally going to do it. You know, 
Yep. So I definitely agree. And I actually made one, which um, I'm happy to share with you. I made one um, for home parties. It just basically is almost the exact same thing as the one you have. Yeah, I have um, one for home, party on the go, and Facebook. Oh, sweet. Oh, well, then, girl, you don't need my help. Um, <laughs> so, um, Tammy, the one who asked the question, also said she loves Scent Share, but she can't afford it right now. So, Tammy, you can use um, Facebook. If you have a business page, you can download the Pages app. You mm -hmm. can schedule a post that way, and it doesn't cost you anything. And if you have access to a laptop or a desktop, you can schedule in um, uh, groups through that as well. There's there's yeah. an option now. So um, I have since share it's 10 bucks a month, but um, I don't I've used it a couple times recently. But when I'm scheduling posts, I'm usually at my desk. So I find that I'm using just Facebook's scheduling tool more often. Yeah. I noticed too, because I just switched back to my iPhone because I had an Android. On my Android, I was able to schedule posts through the Facebook app, but it doesn't let me do it from the Facebook app on my iPhone. So I've just gotten on my computer to do it. So if you have an Android, you might be able to do it on your Facebook app from there. But um, I usually only do since share for parties. I most of the time try to use Facebook itself to schedule other things like VIP group and stuff, just so I'm not like bogging down my since share. Yeah, totally understand that. I hope this uh, was helpful to people. Yeah. <laughs> we got off, we got, it's my fault, but we got off on a tangent because of what a hot mess I am. Um, but let me, let me see if there's anything. What is there anything that we didn't, talk about I mean I think your schedule makes a lot of sense because of you know you've got a child in school you have a child at home and you're basically you're running your business around your priorities like yeah I think I don't know if I used the word priorities earlier when we were talking or if I said responsibilities but at the at the end of the day your family is is your priority and um, my job is a priority because that's how I pay my bills. <laughs> like that's how the lights are on right now. Um, and until pink zebra replaces that, you know, like it's kind of like, what do they call that? Um, like pecking order. Yeah. Or like, like the hierarchy, like it's, it's job. And then it's pink zebra, you know, like family job, pink zebra. Yeah. That's just how, how it has has to be and it's fine um i do wish you know there were times that i um did this full time and and you know got to stay home and, and do it but i know that it'll happen for me when it's supposed to happen for me and the main thing too is like just staying focused because like when you don't when you go from working a job and then now you're getting to stay home with pink zebra, it's kind of like retirement. A lot of people actually fear retirement because they're not going to have anything to do. Like there's a lot of people that want to just constantly stay busy. And so people fear retirement because they're like, my dad, my dad died working because he literally feared retirement. Like he could not stop working. So you just really have to like, set yourself up to where even if you still have a job, you've got to find what works for you. So maybe when you get home, you know, maybe you don't have kids, you know, maybe you just get to come home and you have yourself or your husband. So maybe you do get an hour at night to do your pink zebra, or maybe you have to only do it on weekends. So you just kind of have to figure out a schedule and add things in where you can, just because my schedule works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for anybody else. You yeah. know, everybody's life is different. It's just basically finding that time. So that when you do make Pink Zebra your full time thing, if that's what you want to do, you're already set up for like, you know, success. You're not going to like all of a sudden stop working. And then tomorrow you're like, well, OK, what do I do with my Pink Zebra? What do I do with my life? Like, you know, what do I do? So. Yeah, I'm going to start small. Absolutely. Absolutely. When I started Pink Zebra, I worked a corporate job and I had my son. Granted, it, I didn't have a team at that time, but just finding the time, it was like it was a juggle at the time, even just to find time to start Pink Zebra and, you know, do my launch party. So you just have to figure it out. Yeah. 
it's and I mean figuring it out is probably the hardest part too. <laughs> once once you I mean if you can sit down and um, back when I used to sell Mary Kay something that a tool that we had was called the um, what was it I don't even remember what it was called but it was basically like a way to plan out your week. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find it somewhere. I doubt I still have one, but basically it was, you know, Sunday to Saturday and it was, I don't know, seven or 8 AM to eight or 9 PM. And you, um, would sit down and figure out like, what's an ideal week when, you know, when are you, when do you want to do your parties? Like what's your, what's your plan for the weekend? I know that sometimes varies week to week because, you know, if you have home parties on Saturdays and you're not gonna be able to do it every Saturday, if you have family obligations or you're out of town, but, you know, sitting down and looking at what's your, what's your perfect week for your business, you know, color code it with, with the other things that, that you're responsible for, but then figure out where pink zebra fits in. And then, um, once you do that, then track it, like track when you're, when you're working, if you said, you know, okay, I'm going to spend an hour following up with customers today. Did you actually do it? I might need to start doing that for myself. <laughs> that actually might be really helpful. Yeah. Um, it would also be good to like figure out how you can work your business into your schedule. Like, do you know every Tuesday and Thursday your kids play soccer from 7 to 8 p.m.? Okay, then take catalogs and samples every time you go to their soccer games. You know, share them with other moms. I, I don't have kids. My kids do no sports. I'm not a sports mom, but I've been to some of my friends' kids' games, and those moms just like to sit around and talk the whole time. Like, I think that's their social time. So that would be a great thing. Do you go to church every Wednesday? You know, take samples to your church. I mean, a lot of my people at church love Pink Zebra. They always come in. And I work also at the church sometimes part-time in the nursery. So a lot of them come and hunt me down when I'm in the nursery <laughs> for samples. So you can find other ways to work your business into your schedule. You don't have to think, okay, I have soccer, so I can't do Pink Zebra during soccer. You can also find a way if you're so busy to work Pink Zebra into that soccer schedule. Yeah, that's, that is absolutely true. So I was reading something, um, the other day about how people want a work life balance and basically they're setting themselves up for failure mm -hmm. because with the way people are so busy now, what you really need is a work life blend. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it said how, you know, you're going to be like me at my day job. Um, my personal life might come up during the day, you know, um, I'm just trying to think like my, my dog had explosive diarrhea and I had to go home and take care of her or something, you know, um, my husband might have a bad day at work and call me and really you know need to vent. So I might need to step away and, and kind of be there for him. Um, but then at home, see, this is tough for me because I have, I have the J O B I have pink zebra and I have, like personal life. So it's like, sometimes I don't know where <laughs> one ends and the other begins. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, if I'm at home and something crazy happens and my boss at work calls me that, that, that never happens. It's happened one time in um, like the year and a half that I've worked with him, but you know, or if, um, if I'm at work and a team member messages me frantic about something and um, I, you know, and it's something I, I need to stop and address with them, you know, that's, that's just how it happens. Like there's, um, I, there's just no work life balance mm -hmm. or, and, and I've been searching for it for so long and um, now I know why I never found it. <laughs> Cause it's, it's just not reality. You know, yeah. people are more, they're just busier than they've ever been. My husband even said to me today, he goes, you have a lot on your plate. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like I already knew that, Yeah, um, but I love it. I wouldn't, tr I wouldn't trade it for anything. Sometimes, you know, I complain about just being tired and he's like, wait, this is what you wanted. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't mean cause I'm tired, but I don't still want it. Yeah. 
just, you know, it's reality. Um, but yeah, I think figuring out just when, when you can work, you know, um, you don't have to be 24 seven pink zebra. Um, you're allowed to enjoy life. You're allowed to definitely enjoy your family, but at the same time, like if you have real goals that you want to accomplish and, and if you just want like pedicure money, that's a real goal too. But if you want like crazy, awesome goals, um, like if you want to earn a trip, if you want, you know, to, to pay off substantial debt, then you've got to figure out how you're going to fit your business in with your life for sure. It's totally worth it. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Um, Kayla, when did you promote to senior manager? Did we promote the same month? I can't remember. November. Oh, you promoted November. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I was October. So I we started were... in November. I promoted to manager in November. I promoted to senior manager. Like everything happens for me in November. <laughs> it's just like, it's my month. I love so, Thanksgiving and Black Friday. I think that has something to do with Yeah, that. I think so. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, off topic, but for anybody in this group that um, is working towards getting to the next level, either from consultant to executive consultant, executive consultant to manager or manager to senior manager, what's like one awesome tip that you would give them? You know, there's there's like no magic, magical secret. <laughs> the secrets always work, which... Are you about to show us the map? The maps. Yeah. Yep. I just did my I just did some more today because my next goal, my current goal is ex executive manager by the end of May because I want to be executive manager at reunion so I can get that early product reveal. So <laughs> I was doing maps today. Like that's been my thing, you know. So I always I had my girls doing maps today, you know, though I have two that want to be senior manager. So I was doing their maps with them and I try to help them, but I, I don't mind doing them for them, but I try to teach them how to do it too, because, you know, I have to remember that once they hit, you know, manager, I kind of like to try to let them do things a little more on their own. I'm still mm -hmm. going to be there, but you know, then at that point they have a team that they have to learn how to manage on their own. So I try not to completely hold their hand, but at the same time, the mom in me is like, okay, let me do it for you. I got it. I got it. Let me cut that food for you. You know? So it's like, you well, know, it's kind of fun, like being involved in their, in their journey. So I totally like watching a child grow up. It's like, okay, first they're in elementary and now they're in middle school. Oh, now they're graduating high school. And, you know, it's just kind of like letting them out of the nest. So it, it, I'm obsessed with maps. That's yeah. my thing. Okay. So maps, maps are the way to go. Because it's visual, which a lot of us yeah. are. I know I am. Um, and that was probably for for me earning this last incentive trip. Um, the tracker? I, yeah. Well, I, I make my own. <laughs> like, oh. I mean, it's similar, but I, um, I have an Excel spreadsheet that I put a lot of stuff in. I started, <laughs> and I, honestly, I don't really know why I started using it, but back in probably 2014, I created um, a spreadsheet for my entire team and it had, you know, column for their, for names and phone numbers and titles. And then I had one for every month and I would at the end of the month, put in everybody's sales and use a formula so that I could see like at the end of the pink zebra year, what my team's, you know, individual sales were so that I could do recognition because we don't have a report like that. Um, and not to say we won't ever, but for now we, we don't. And I like, you know, I like to be able to recognize that kind of stuff too. Um, and so I've kept that up and then, um, I made a tab for the incentive trip last year. Um, and basically, you know, I have the different ways you can earn points and I have the months across the top. And um, before, you know, like 
as soon as I found out what you had to do to earn, I just started plugging in numbers, like hypothetical numbers, and I printed it out. And so I had it here that I could look at, like kind of, um, you know, so I could just be conscious of my sales, what I wanted to hit each month. And then I did the same thing for this past time. And just having that, that visual aid to look at is, is huge. So yeah, so maps are, maps are awesome. So I think we need to have a map. Um, I need to have a map day with my team. We're going to make some maps. <laughs> I'll do that. We're making maps. <laughs> Okay, well, I appreciate you hanging out, and no thank you for 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 joining us and um, sharing your wisdom. <laughs> and I I'll get to see you in Kentucky, right? Yes. Yay! Um, I'll be there for Leadership Day and the whole rest of the time. So. Well, good. No, I'm just excited about you. the Great Gatsby party that they're doing. Like oh, I. I legit excited to dress up yeah so i actually was when i was going through um a part of my office i have all these older accessories so i really love the 80s um so i have tons of 80s accessories i've went to 80s parties i had an 80s themed birthday party one year um but a few years ago like maybe five so that's really more than a few but my um my mom's company was celebrating 90 years which is like that's a lot of yeah. years for a company to be in business um so they had kind of a, a great gatsby themed party so i have a headband with a feather and i've got pearls and i'm like i'm like halfway there i just need a really fun dress so definitely excited for that um I, and it'll be nice because i have I have some people from my team who are definitely coming to reunion. Yeah, I, have a, I have a lot more people from my team coming this year. Good. So. Yeah. I mean, I know it's, it's um not cheap, but yeah. it's, so, it's so worth it. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. so, that's what really fun. got me kickstarted was I went to reunion in San Antonio and that's when I was really like, okay, this is it. Like this is, for me, this is what I want to do. This is like everything. So, yeah, that is the first reunion that my husband went to. And I mean, he kind of he knew like that I was in love with Pink Zebra and, and that the company was awesome. But him getting to see it there totally, yeah. um, totally got him on on board. And that doesn't mean that he doesn't sometimes say like, are, are you going to come hang out with me tonight? Like, <laughs> yeah. um, but he, he under, I mean, he got to see the big picture and then now, well, he's been to Orlando and, and he'll be coming to Kentucky as well. I'm so excited. I've, I've, I'm sure I've been to Kentucky before, but I was too young to remember it. So I'm pretending like it's the first time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be good. Okay, well, I'm excited to do this again tomorrow with yes. your team. Yes. And hopefully, hopefully they will find it helpful as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think we did okay as far as staying, like, on track. Yeah. Yeah, we really did. I mean, you know, Alpine came in, but she didn't, she wasn't an attention hog like she normally is. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks team. Oh, real quick. Um, I want to, I'll post pictures as soon as we hop off here, but they updated the easy peasy two step. So I'll share that. Did you see that Kayla? Yeah, I did that and I shared it. And I also did the, um, the, the on, uh, party on the go. In the bag. Yes. That's so so exciting. So once I hop off here, I'll post that info for you guys. Um, but yeah, the, the easy piece two step, I think my team and I, I think we just talked about it last week. Um, and I told them it would be updated soon. It's like I'm psychic and it's updated now. So that, that right there is probably if I had to give a magical tip, um, that would probably be the magical tip that I give just, um, because sometimes you don't know, like, what should I be doing? Like, where should I be spending my time? And 
Um, even if you can't do two parties every week because you have other things going on, it's at least something to strive towards. Yes. So it's, it's, it's a map in itself. It's just yes. not like a map that you get to fill in. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's your roadmap. Um, but yeah, that, that bookings thing, super, super awesome. Yes. I want some bags. Me too. <laughs> All right. Awesome. I've tried to like sign off here like 10 times, but I just keep talking. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm the squirrel. Um, <laughs> All right, team, y'all have an amazing night. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with us. And Kayla's going to hang out in the group um, at least, you know, through tomorrow. So if you guys have any yes. questions, if you want to pick her brain on anything, feel free to ask. Thank you. Right, bye, guys.